She was in the shelter for three or four months, just going from family to family. I was really honored to give her the opportunity to live a better life before she passed. <laughs> I'm Nicole, and this is Trixie's story for Geobeat. Trixie. Hi. Look at that tongue sticking out. Oh. Originally, she went to a firefighter. He worked long hours, realized that he couldn't take her. She went to another family. That family bred her. And then when she got too old to be a breeding dog and couldn't produce puppies anymore, she went back into the shelter. A third family took her. They realized that she had anxiety. So they had her for a few months and then they gave her up and then she ended up back in the shelter. And then that's where I found her. She was eight. My brother and I went to our local shelter. She's very affectionate. You wanna come home? We just looked at her and we were like, we can't not leave with her. So majestic. Mm. I wanted to give her the best golden years. <gasps> Trixie, you're getting <laughs> I see that tail wagon. She immediately warmed up to us. You see that tail wagon? It was difficult though. She did have a lot of anxiety. I would walk her in the morning and at night, but I would come home to accidents. I never minded it. Oh, oh my god. I also quickly learned that she could not go up or down the stairs very well. It felt like it hurt her to walk up and down stairs just because of her age and her arthritis. I think she knew that I was her mom. She was very loving and just had a lot of love to give. I would always make the joke, she has no loyalty. She'll go to anyone who's willing to give her affection. Come on, Trix, reach for it. <laughs> <laughs> She would like to wiggle on her back. It was a weird quirk. I was definitely a fan of it. Look at her. But she can't get up. She was my soul dog. She taught me what it meant to have unconditional love. She was 12 when she passed. When you lose any member of your family, it's always a shock. Oh my goodness. It was an adjustment. I had to buy a weighted blanket because I was used to having a 60 pound dog lay on my legs all night. Big honker. The last words that I said to Trixie were, it was an honor to be your mom and thank you for everything that you've done for me. I like to think that my grandparents are up there looking after her. We adopted another dog from the shelter in honor of Trixie. Rena is three and a half years old and she was originally a stray dog. The interesting thing for me was when you Google Trixie's name, her name means bringer of joy. Hi. When I Googled the name Rena, it meant melody and joy. And so at that point I was like, wow, it's almost like Trixie sent her to us. I still feel some type of connection with Trixie. I still say goodnight to her every single night before I go to bed. Trixie, you can't stay like this. We gotta go, we're in the lobby.